Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Here is the easiest way to have a nice spicy pot of pinto beans right out of your prepper pantry. You really only need three ingredients plus some water. Rinse your beans and look them over. If any of them don't look right, pick them out and discard them. Spray your crock pot so nothing sticks. Next, chop up a few slices of bacon and toss it into the bottom. I took mine right out of the freezer and it's still going to cook and be perfect. Now pour in one cup of beans, top it with a can of Rotel, and then add four cups of water. Put on the lid. I started mine on high and let it cook for a few hours and then turned it down and it probably cooked for around nine hours. Depending on how old your beans are, they may take a little longer. Now here's something that I like to do to make them a little creamier. I take my pastry cutter or my biscuit cutter and because the edges are like knives, roll it over the pot of beans, it squishes it up a little bit, gives it more the consistency like say refried beans and makes it a creamier, yummy, delicious pot of beans. And there you go, it's as simple as that. What are my two favorite ways to serve these easy crockpot pinto beans? You can serve them over some nice white rice and a sprinkle of cheese is always good. Oh, wouldn't it be great with some fresh tomatoes and avocado, but I don't have those in my prepper pantry. You can also serve these as a burrito. Take a tortilla. I always put the cheese on first because the hot beans help them melt. I think it holds together a little better. Then I use a slotted spoon to make sure the beans aren't too runny because you don't want a drippy burrito. I may not have the best burrito rolling skills, but these taste delicious anyway. And there you go. Easy crock pot pinto beans. They're nice and spicy and you basically didn't have to do anything. They're an easy way to rotate the foods in your prepper pantry. They're also a great cheap way to have a filling meal and gives you ideas of how to use the basic foods that you might have in your long-term food storage stockpile. Leave us a comment. How are some ways that you like to cook beans that are cheap, filling, and delicious? They may not be fast, but beans can be delicious. I hope you'll like my video. Share it with someone else you think might enjoy this recipe. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel. Yummy.